Well, here's a battery that's uh, it was out of a car that was sitting for about I don't know six to nine months. Uh, been sitting out in the freezing all winter, and looks like this was manufactured in January '05, so it's a five-year-old battery, and it was just sitting there at about 0.75 volts, so at three quarters of a volt. And what I did was I hooked it up to this 1AU battery charger, uh, this universal. You can get it at TeslaChargers.com. Okay, and so after uh, a few charges, this thing was settling at in the uh, uh, about 11, 11 and a half volt range or so. And so after three or four times, and I did not discharge it. I just charged it, waited till the light goes green, telling me that it's ready. And I just turned it off, turned it back on, and let it charge. And I did that a few times. And so then I finally popped off the caps and uh, saw that the water was a little bit low. So I just added distilled water up to the bottom of the little circular plastic piece at the bottom. And, um, and then what I did was uh, I charged it up again. And so after that cycle, it actually settled. After it was done charging, it actually settled down to 13.00 volts, almost exactly just right at 13 volts. And so then what I did when it was sitting at 13 volts was I hooked this inverter up. This is a uh, 400 watt inverter, uh, one of these cheap ones from Harbor Freight. Um, you can just hook the terminals right up to the battery and then I powered this lamp and I have a 60 watt incandescent bulb in there. And so what I did was I put it on the middle setting for 40 watts and I drained it and at, uh, from 13 volts and after like five hours or something it, it uh, the voltage was only down to uh, 12.43 volts or so. And so after that, um, I turned it off. I didn't wait for it to get any lower, and I've been charging it since last night, which is still charging. And so what I'm seeing right now is this battery is showing... Um, I just want to show you the, the voltage that this thing is actually getting pushed up to now, which is... 13.69 volts and this is the highest that I've seen it so far and uh, so 13.69 so it's getting close to 14 volts pushing this battery that was sitting at three quarters of oh, three quarters of one volt and at three quarters of a volt that's not enough for this charger to kick on and so you can see this red button here if you push that it gives a little jolt to it so that the battery charger sees the right voltage in order for it to kick on so anyway from three quarters of a volt and this thing is being pushed to 13.7 um, volts now um, and I did have to add a little bit of uh, distilled water to um, top it up but it's coming back and even at three quarters of a volt before I added water it was pushing it up to 12 volt range and settling down at 11 and a half so anyway and this is some um, uh, auto light battery um, I don't know the quality of that particular battery but it looks like a 84 month or something and so anyway um, when this settles I'm gonna drain it a few more times well here's the battery that was at 0 0.75 and after charging um, with an energetic uh, R charge charger from uh, teslachargers.com uh, it's resting at 13 volts um, kinda needs to be cleaned off there and everything but as soon as those terminals were connected I could hear some buzzing inside um, I'll go get rinsed. so alright so anyway we're gonna tighten down those terminals there try to start the car and we're uh, basically just moving it out of the way so we can get to the door there it's uh, probably mid 90's uh, Nissan uh, Sentra but anyway we're gonna see what the battery does well the dash lights are on good. tightening up the old battery this car's been sitting, I don't know, six to nine months, kind of dirty. About a year. About a year. Just sitting here next to the barn, super dusty, you can't even see through the windshield, barely. So, let's see what the 0 0.75 volt battery does after rejuvenated, if it'll even, if the car will even start. Ready? Okay. Almost. So you got, so you got gas, right? Hmm. 
think it's kind of dry maybe. Think pour any oil down the spark plug holes? It's, well, it could be, but... Um, well, you know, to, to back it up just now for the door, you probably put it in reverse and let the clutch off and let the starter motor push it a little. Or, yeah. I don't know if you want to do that. <laughs> I don't have a clutch cable, so I'll just have to hit the key. Power shift. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's in reverse, so I'll see what happens. Boy, seems like the rear brakes are just locked up. Good cable, yeah. Well, we can get the in the door now. Okay. Um, for shoot, that charged it up enough to crank it over a few times, plus push the starter motor enough to move it. What's that? It definitely charged the battery up. Oh, so. yeah. It started. Not too much smoke, a little bit, but... Sounds like the starter's not even kicking. They put it in gear and just let it jump, jump in a few inches. Then try it. Wrong way. <laughs> Brake came off. Oh, that did it by itself? Yeah. You got lucky. Yo, that battery's got some juice. Hey, that battery's got juice. <laughs> you gonna pull forward or? Well, I, I'm trying. I'm gonna run it for just a second. Uh huh. Because I, I have to put it in gear and, and turn it over to get forward. I don't have a clutch cable. Oh. <laughs> I gotta replace that. Well, there you go, folks. 0 0.75 volts sitting for almost a year. And you heard how many times it was cranking over. Getting this car started a few times.